Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making Turkish meatballs or chufte. So let's get started with the recipe. In my mixing bowl here I have my ground beef and I'm going to add an egg, some onion, some garlic, some parsley. We're using fresh parsley. That is very important in this recipe. Do not use dried parsley flakes. You need to use the real deal here. I'm using some flour and then my spices. Now my spices, I'm using some vegeta. Some vegeta is just an all seasoning spice. I'm using some garlic powder, some paprika, and some pepper. Again, all of the ingredients will be listed below in the description box. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mix this all until well combined, and then I'm gonna form my meatballs. So here I have a bowl of water just dipping my hands in there and that's just going to prevent the meat from sticking to my hands and I'm just going to form these tiny little meatballs. I like to make them bite size. If you want to be more precise you can take a tablespoon, fill that tablespoon to the top and then you will have the exact size meatballs every single time and we're just going to form all of those meatballs until we've used up the meat. When it comes to cooking the meatballs, please fry the meatballs. I cannot express enough how important this step is. I've tried baking them, they do not come out the same, guys. I am using a fryer um, for this. You don't have to, you can just pan fry them, but make sure after you're done frying them, putting them on a paper towel so the excess oil can absorb on the paper towel. And then we'll start with our sauce. All right, so for the sauce, I have my Greek yogurt in a bowl. I'm adding two eggs in my flour, and I'm just going to mix that until well combined. I don't want any lumps in, the, um, in this part of the sauce. And I already have my chicken stock boiling on the stovetop once it comes up to a high boil. What we're going to do is we're going to take this mixture that we're mixing right now, and we're going to add it to the boiling chicken stock. Now, once you add the yogurt mixture to the chicken stock, you're going to want to lower your heat. And you're going to want to whisk this in as fast as you can because we don't want to make scrambled eggs because we do have two raw eggs in that mixture. So what we're going to do is we're going to stir as fast as we can so that we don't get any lumps, we don't get any scrambled eggs in our yogurt sauce. All right, so once that is all well combined, what you're going to do, you're going to keep this on medium to medium low heat. You're then going to uh, taste the yogurt sauce and you're going to see if you need any more salt. Now because you are using chicken stock, chicken stock is um, already salty, um, I do use low sodium so I added a little bit more vegeta and I added some black pepper to the mix. And then I added my meatballs and I let this simmer on low for about 25 minutes to 30 minutes. The last step to the sauce and what is most important when making this yogurt sauce is toasting up some garlic. So here I'm just going to toast up garlic until golden brown. I'm going to add that to my meatballs and I'm going to add some freshly chopped up parsley and you guys are done. Let this simmer for another two to three minutes and you are ready to serve. And there you guys have it, Turkish meatballs or chufte, they are ready to be served. I cannot wait to dig in. Um, that sauce, that garlicky sauce with the yogurt, it, they taste amazing. I cannot wait for you guys to try this. Like I did mention on Instagram, I did post this, I think last year on Instagram. Um, I did tweak the recipe just a little bit. You guys will see in the description box, I'll label what I um, kind of changed. Um, but you guys have to give this recipe a try, especially that frying method because they make the meatballs so juicy, so moist. I absolutely love this recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below. Tell me what you guys think, and I will see you guys next time.